the new product process. First thing I want to point out is that naturally every company doesn't follow this step by step, but this is the idea long version of a new product process when a company wants to add something new. So the step number one is the new product strategy. What is the strategy that you're going to follow to develop this new product and make it successful? Step two is idea generation, which basically means brainstorming, going through your past products, your future products, doing research, just trying to understand what's happening in the marketplace. But ultimately, it's, it's, it comes down to brainstorming. Step three is screening and evaluation. Here's where you're going to go through all of the ideas that you have generated and all the lists and narrow it down to the one or two that you believe are actually valuable, that you believe we can put, we can put forward and we can start to we think there's something real there. Step four is business analysis. Business analysis is when you actually start to crunch the numbers and think about how much money are we going to have to spend to develop this new product? How much money are we going to spend to do the product launch? How much is required in marketing and supply chain and finance? Actually bringing it together to look at it to see if it makes sense financially. Step five is when you actually start developing the real product. You're actually bringing it to real life. You're bringing sort of like a prototype, but it's a real one. And once that is finished, you're going to go into market testing. There's examples of, of McDonald's. They will only launch a product in one state or in one community to see how it works before they launch it full time. Or in other examples, movies will come out a weekend in advance and let us few people watch it to see how it goes. They're market testing. And the seventh one is commercialization. This is when you take all of steps one through six and you make it real. You launch it nationally. You launch it globally. You're sending it to everyone so everybody can see it. Okay, there are a few things I want to add on to the new product process. The first one is after every single step, you need to have a clear analysis to make sure what we are doing, is this right or should we cancel the entire thing? You always have to check after every single step to see, is this actually correct? Does this make sense? Or are we forcing ideas through just to make a product to make a product? It's very valuable. One way of doing this is bringing actually consumers or people from outside of your organization or outside of the group that are responsible for the new product process and have them evaluate each step. Because the sooner you can understand that this isn't real, the more money and time and energy you will save. Because once you get to commercialization and you actually launch your product, you cannot stop. And so commercialization is extremely expensive and potentially extremely damaging to your business if you fail. You have to understand that once you launch a product into the marketplace and your consumers use it and see it, they no longer can take it back. You can't take it back. And if you're talking about on a national scale or a global scale, that's millions of dollars.